Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and I share information about Canada immigration based on my own experience and from what I have researched for you. Guys, today we have got good news. Nova Scotia has just launched a new stream at the Occupations in Demand. So welcome. In case you have not subscribed on this channel, remember to subscribe and like this video and also to share. So guys, I would like us to go through uh, Nova Scotia. This is Nova Scotia uh, in my, uh, website, official website for Nova Scotia. It looks like this. And I would like us to understand how Nova Scotia operates in terms of, uh, you know, its migration. Because here in Canada, all the provinces have got their own streams. Some provinces have got more than 10 streams for immigration. Actually, I think, yeah, I actually know that Nova Scotia has got uh, 10 also. It has got 10 streams that you can use to immigrate. So um, Nova Scotia is right here. It's one of the provinces. And uh, lately it has been introducing uh, uh, even more uh, occupations in demand. I think most provinces in Canada have realized that it's, it's, I, by giving people options to apply for jobs, um, has become the easiest way of bringing immigrants into the province. So um, this one has just been released on the 17th of November, 2021. Mm -hmm. So it's still this month. It's actually two days ago. So we are in, we are actually in time. So um, I want us to, to go, first of all, to understand how um, Nova Scotia operates. I said that it has got several uh, immigration streams that you can use to immigrate to Canada in case I have done all these videos for all these streams for Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, remember, is one of the Atlantic provinces. So Nova Scotia has got one. The first stream it has is called Labor Market Priorities. Labor Market Priorities, if you have not watched, you need to watch it because it involves the process of um, getting uh, accepted by the province and then after they accept you they they pick you from the pool of express entry and they nominate you into the province the other one is um, physician and then there is also entrepreneur there is international gra graduate entrepreneur there is international graduates in demand there is skilled worker program and then the, there is occupations in demand is the one that we are going to look uh, into today. Then there is Nova Scotia Experience Express, Nova Scotia Experience Express Entry. No, and this one I think ended in January fourth of this year. Okay, so uh, let's go straight to one of the streams for Nova Scotia. Now you understand that. That, that's why I keep telling you that Canada has got so many immigration pathways, so many. You can imagine this is just one of the provinces and it's having over 10, over 10 streams that you can use to immigrate. So occupations in demand is just one of, the, one of them. Occupations in demand is just one of the streams that you can use to immigrate to, to or to get permanent residence in Nova Scotia. Remember, even when you come to study here in Canada, you choose maybe to come and study in Nova Scotia. You have a program as an international student to get PR in that province. For example, this Nova Scotia. We saw that program here for international graduates, uh, international graduates in demand. And we have got international graduates entrepreneur. I have done all these videos for, for Nova Scotia. So make sure that you go and watch and, uh, and see which one you... you you, which one fits you best? The physicians ones, if you are a doctor, you're looking into coming to Canada, Nova Scotia is a very flexible province for doctors, unlike Ontario and the others. Uh, yeah, Nova Scotia, I think, is the only province that has got openings for physicians, doctors. So for doctors, it's, it's the easiest uh, province to immigrate. Go and check this one for physician. And I think I have also done this video. I may tag it here in the description. So let's go ahead and talk about occupations in demand. I want to I want to, to explain to you what has been happening before before this new announcement. So what have, has been happening is that there has been some NOC codes that have been in demand 
in Nova Scotia. Remember, every province has got its own um, NOC codes which are in demand. By now, at least you know what is an NOC code, NOC code or a NOC code. Some people call it a NOC code. These are occupations in demand. And every province has got its own NOC uh, codes different from the other. So before this, uh, before 17th of November, these are the NOC codes that have been in demand in Nova Scotia. Okay, so uh, they have been having NOC code 3413 for nurse aides and patient service, service associates. Okay, they have been wanting nurse aides and it's still there. They still want so many nurse aides. So in case you want to come to Canada as a nurse aide, Nova Scotia is for you. You can just need, you, you can just apply under, apply jobs under NOC code 3413. The other occupation that has been the, in demand in Nova Scotia is food and beverage service. That one is NOC code 6513. Food handlers <coughs> and servers, they have been in demand in this province. And then another one is 6711 for food cutters, food counter attendants, kitchen helpers, and related support <coughs> occupations. Sorry. Okay. So food counter attendants, kitchen helpers, and related support occup occup occupations. That one is NOC code uh, 6711. The other one is 67. Three one light duty cleaners. Okay, light duty cleaners. This one is also one of the <coughs> NOC code that is in demand in in this province. And then the other one is NOC code seven five one one for transport truck drivers. Nova Scotia, and and not only Nova Scotia. I think among among all the provinces. The four provinces that are in Atlantic have got very good streams for immigrants, especially for people who, who, who people who are in uh, federal skilled trades. Federal skilled trades are best, best, best suited in the, uh, you know, the Atlantic province because we have seen that in New Brunswick and now we are seeing this in Nova Scotia. So uh, the other one, we have talked of 7511 track transport truck drivers, and then NOC code 7521 is for heavy equipment operators, except crane, okay? So if you are a heavy equipment operator, check Nova Scotia. Then construction trades helpers and laborers. These ones are people that work in the construction, 7611. So we are saying that these are these are the, the occupations that are in demand in this province called Nova Scotia. If you understand this, you're good to go. It will be so easy for you to apply for jobs, if you understand, so you, so that you don't waste your time to apply for jobs uh, if your occupation in demand is not, if your occupation is not in the list of occupations in demand for Nova Scotia, so that you move ahead and go to another province because you have got a lot of so many provinces. If you realize that your NOC code is not in demand in Nova Scotia, just move on and go look into another province. Or if not that, you apply under, under these other streams because we have realized that they have got over 10 streams that you can use to immigrate. So uh, they are saying that uh, the occupations in demand stream target specific NOC under C. C, we say they are for trades and D. This, this ones only require you to have secondary education. Just that. And some of the skills do not require you to have any education. As long as you can pass your IELTS and you have got a job offer, that's all. Remember, that's what uh, federal skilled trade says. They say they don't look at the education at all. They don't. So even if you don't have education, you can apply under NOCC and D. And we have realized that this NOCC and D are in demand in Nova Scotia, okay? That are high labor market demand in Nova Scotia. The Office of Immigration identifies occupations in demand based on labor market information and eligible occupations 
are subject to change. Okay, what are the requirements? The requirements for you to apply under these NOC codes. So uh, you need to have one year of work experience related to the job, one year experience. Okay, I think this is very good. One year experience is good. It's very minimal. Then you need to be between 21 to 55 years old. Then you need to have a high school diploma. Okay, high school diploma, at least secondary education. You need to have the appropriate training skills or accreditation for the job. The skills. If you're a truck driver, you need to have skills. You cannot tell them that you're a truck driver and you have never practiced to, tr to drive that truck. You have to prove. The other thing is that you need to prove language ability equal to Canadian benchmark, which is four. Four is very low for you. You just need to pass IELTS and get four, a band of four. Then show enough financial resources to successfully settle in Nova Scotia. Just that. And then go ahead and apply here. You're going to apply online. Okay? You're going to apply online. So um, on, we are saying that on top of this, on top of this um, NOC code, um, our news now, I, I would have forgotten. Our news now is that this province has added three other NOC codes under hospitality. On top of this. They have realized that they need so many people to work under hospitality. And, 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 and the three NOC codes that they have added include NOC code 6513, food and beverage service, then NOC code 6711, food, food counter attendance, kitchen helpers, and related support occupations, and NOC code 67. 314 light duty cleaners. They're right here. Okay. These ones have been added 6513. Uh, 6513 is here. Six. Where is it? 65. Yeah. 6513 food and beverage service. And then 6711, food counter attendants, kitchen helpers, and related support occupations, and light duty cleaners, 6731. These three have just been added. They are new. They have been added. They were added on the 17th of November this month. So they are very new. I hope you understand. In case you don't understand how Nova Scotia uh, occupations in demand operate, please ask so that we can explain. So in case you fall under any of this NOC code, please go ahead and apply. You just need to come here and apply online. Just need to, you just need to meet these uh, minimal uh, uh, requirements and then you submit and, and then you wait. Okay, that's all. The good thing about these jobs, they don't require you to have an LMIA. They don't want they don't require you to have an LMIA. You can apply without an LMIA. As long as you, you find um, an employer who is willing to recruit you from uh, overseas, that's all you need. That's what they have said. So go ahead and apply. Uh, that's all for these uh, occupations in demand in Nova Scotia. Uh, please go ahead and apply and let me know how it goes. If you have not subscribed on this channel, please remember to subscribe. This is a video that you need to share because I have realized this. These NOC codes are for the people that have been asking me every other day. They are able, so many people want to come to Canada and work under this, but they don't know how to apply. So send this to your WhatsApp groups, to your Facebook pages, all over. Yeah, you can imagine how many people you're going to help if you if you if you circulate this video. Please do, and then uh, US is coming in case you are not among this. Thank you and God bless you. Bye bye.